Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cheyenne, if you're new. And today I have a review on a AliExpress wig. And I will be putting in some clips and going through all the experiences I've had with this wig, child. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna put on the wig aftermath of the wig that you can see. And I have my hair in two braids. I wanna show y'all what I do under my wig because if y'all don't know already, I'm military, so I wear my hair in a bun every day. And this is my hair, and I just do two pigtails to the back. And this is how I have my hair under my wigs every single time. It's flat in the front, and doing it this way makes it flat in the back as well. And what I do is just pin the two tails of the braids up. One is over top, one is over the bottom. I'll turn around so y'all can see. That's all I do is pin them to the sides, and this makes the flat install every time. I'm getting tangled up in these cords, honey. Okay, so we're just gonna um, put on my stocking cap. Here is the wig. This is the wig that I've gotten from AliExpress. Now, these are one day old curls. I curled this last night and they already fell. So <laughs> that's a problem there, but I guess you get what you pay for, huh? So we're gonna put this wig on. If y'all hear any whimpering, that's my dog. She don't like when I'm uh, talking to anyone on the phone or she think I'm talking to somebody. She's so spoiled. Just want attention all the time. That's her. All right. So I haven't cut the lace off anything. I'm just going to throw this wig on. I haven't put an elastic band in it at all. So here is the construction of the cap. Basic cap construction. I've bleached the knots as well. One thing I didn't like is on the sides, you get about this two inch part in space, which is not too friendly for me, but I guess it's enough for most people. And then about four inch part in space in the middle. So I'm gonna put this, this wig on. So if you can see the hairline, I did tweeze the hairline. The roots were originally 1B black and I colored the roots to the cinnamon brown color and I toned the blonde because it was 1B27 and I toned it. This is a flat iron I used to make these curls to Solio flat iron. Got it from one of the sellers in the middle of the Galleria one day. It's a really great flat iron. But um, what we're going to do is I'm going to insert a video from start to finish of how I've achieved this wig color and this wig style. You will hear or you will hear and see the pros and cons <laughs> that I had with this wig. And then I'm come back have the wig laid down and everything, and then we're gonna go through all the details, okay? Stay tuned. This is the wig straight out the box. I don't like that it came with a part already sort of in there, cause I'm not really a big middle part chick. It's supposed to be 1B27 is the color. So 1B27, you can see it's very 27. But you see, you see, <laughs> I know y'all can see that in this video. It looks very synthetic to me. If you're picking up that color that I can see right now, that shine on there, I don't know. We shall, we shall see how it, how it looks. It takes to toning and bleaching, but throughout the wig is one bead at the roots. So we're gonna bleach the roots 
to get a brown color and then we're gonna tone this blonde to do a ash blonde color. So here's a picture of the bleaching process and I use the ion powder lighter. And here is after the bleaching and coloring of the black roots. I colored it to the cinnamon brown color and this is what the hairline looks like straight from the company. And as you can see, they did about an inch of pre-plucking, which was very helpful. And it's, a, it's not a bad plucking job. It's a good plucking job. And all I would do is go through and pluck out the hairline and then the further back into the hair. So right here is um, video for you to see the back of the wig. This is the brown coloring throughout the wig. Originally the black roots were all throughout the whole wig. And this is the color that I use to color those black roots to this cinnamon brown color. It's argan oil, medium copper brown, 4C. And I also use 4D volume developer with that color to achieve this cinnamon brown color on the roots. Here is the Wella toner that I'm going to use to tone the blonde, T11 and 8 and G. They're both uh, light beige blonde toners. So we're gonna see what that looks like after this video. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm back and I have put on the wig. I have cut off the lace, laid it a little bit. Um, I didn't glue it down or anything. I cut out some baby hairs um, as well as like some ear tab hair on each side. So I know where the baby hair and the ear tab hair is for when I actually do got to be glued down because I don't really glue or put down my wig like that because I don't wear wigs like that if y'all know I'm military so I wear my hair in a bun every day um only time I put on a wig really is if I'm going somewhere or on the weekend so that's why I don't really take down my wig but with this wig um I don't want to move up the front but you can see it's not tacked down at all um but it is on there you guys so what I did was I scooted um push back the wig cap and then I put on uh the wig grip band um that pretty much was going around last year year before that everybody bought I put the wig grip band on and I don't know if you guys could see it or not but that's where it is and that's all I put on and this wig It's snug and I took the two straps in the back that comes on the wig as usual. I put them very close to the middle. It's probably like um, the second to last little gap in the middle. That's what I put the straps on. So it is snug and I'm very glad that I didn't have to put an elastic band on there because I don't like putting an elastic band on a wig if I don't have to. So um, if you've been watching and seen the videos previously in this video, that went through um, me unboxing the wig, the issues that I was first seeing that was gonna happen with this wig. We gonna go over all of that stuff and we're gonna talk about the pros and the cons of this wig right now. Cause child, <laughs> it could have been some real issues with this wig, honey, but we are gonna go through them, the pros and the cons. So we're gonna start with the cons. Um, first, let's talk about the store. Uh, the name of the store is, and I have a list right here. The name of the store is the King Rose the Queen store. And first thing we're going to talk about is customer service because customer service with them is a pro and a con. Um, pro to their customer service is lady would message me every day after I ordered the wig. Every day she would message me, you know, what they do on AliExpress. Um, 
up until I got the wig. Now the con, the, the con, the reason why this is con is because their customer service, after I got the wig, the day that I got the wig, <laughs> she messaged me saying, you know, please leave your review. Please give me five star review on the wig if you like the wig, blah, 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 blah. <sighs> Honey, I'm not going to do no review on no wig, no product, no nothing that I buy with my money if I haven't tested it out, if I haven't worn it. Like, that's not going to happen. Don't hit me up the same day that I got the wig. You know I got the wig because tracking said to live it, and I got the wig in the mail that same day. So don't message me that same day saying, please leave review. And another thing was, she was like, <laughs> she was like, okay, please leave five-star review. If you leave five-star review, my boss will let us all leave early tonight. No, I'm not going to leave no five-star review on a wig, on a product, or anything the same day that I got it. I'm going to test it out, and I'm going to see what it's going to do. That's, that's just fine and dandy. So, hmm, that was the first con. The second con is a shedding. So, y'all all know wigs shed. Like, that's, that's fine. The only thing I have a problem with is how companies, especially AliExpress companies, don't advertise or put on the box or anything that 100% shedding, 100% tangle free. That's not true. So it was, as soon as I took the wig out the box, I got about a good handful of strands of sh uh, shedding after I took the little plastic thing off the wig. So that's the issue I had with shedding. Now I'm not gonna go through the hair. See you guys right there. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm not gonna count these hairs cause I did just cut the, the lace off the wig. So I'm sure it's hair that I didn't brush out from when I cut the wig. Now in the back, Got about one strand, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. So, it's not bad. Just don't say 100% shit. Now, that's it. The third con is bleaching the knots. Now, like I said in the video prior, I had issues bleaching these knots because they pre-plucked the hairline, which is good. But when you pre-pluck the hairline, what they do is, is that they single knot the hairs in the front, right? And then towards the back is either double or triple knotted. These, these knots must have been triple knotted because all of this, all back here and even on the side, and that's another con because it's not a lot of side parting space. But um, it, it took me two times to bleach the frontal on this wig because these knots were not bleached that first time. And I finally got them to bleach. Not all of them bleached, but I got it to bleach enough. So my parting is good and if I wanted to part it somewhere else, I could at least part it somewhere else and then pluck it out a little bit like I did this one and put some um, powder on it. So that was another con. The last con I'm gonna say, which was a big one, um, is it human or synthetic? Is it human or synthetic? Well, <laughs> I'm gonna say you get what you pay for because Honey, child, it's synthetic fibers all up and throughout this wig. And I said it on my review on AliExpress, and I'm saying it now on this Facebook video. On it, I'm sorry, on this YouTube video. Because <laughs> as soon as I took it out the box, I was like feeling it. And I'm like, okay, you know, you get wigs. I'm like, oh, it's really soft. Oh, that's good quality. No, it was a type of soft to where I was like, hmm. That's synthetic. Uh, it's something in there is synthetic because it, it was too soft. It wasn't like human hair soft. So we know it's human hair. It's some human hair mostly because it colored and it toned. But as I was flat ironing, flat ironing and curling this hair, it was strands and mostly the black strands throughout the hair that you know is synthetic fibers because them black strands was coming off on my iron. They was burning and it, it was shriveling up. You know it's synthetic wigs do when you put a iron a uh, flat iron to it so mm -mm. that's that's another con but get what you pay for it it is what it is but i'm i'm just say it did straighten and it did curl now these curls i curled yesterday last night like late, late last night and uh so they these are probably like 10 hour curls and they fell overnight i didn't use any hairspray or nothing so um, that's just the quality of the hair. It's not bad quality, but, um, you, you can do a test on the quality of hair by seeing how it holds a curl without hairspray. So I'm not mad because I'm liking the like summer beach wave 
curl that it fell to. So not mad about that. Those are the cons. So to the pros, we had quite a few pros. First pro was shipping. I ordered this wig on February 14th. I got the wig February 18th. That's four days. So I'm not mad at it coming from China most likely to Mississippi. I'm not mad at the shipping four days for this wig, especially for the price, which is the number two pro. The price on this wig was $125.50. $125.50, you guys. So to have a wig that was already K1B 27. So I didn't have to bleach it. I didn't have to do none of that. I didn't bleach the roots or nothing. So that was good. Third pro, now as I was just speaking about coloring, that's the third pro on this wig. Now we talked about the human synthetic fibers, whatever. But one thing I'm glad and I'm good with this wig about is that it did color. I didn't bleach the roots. The roots were 1B, so that's like black. And y'all see I'm light skinned, so black washes me out really, really 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 bad so i colored this hair or colored the roots to a cinnamon brown and you see the roots are still want to be a little bit but i'm liking the cinnamon brown the way it flows into the blind especially on my skin tone so um as you seen earlier and i'll put more pictures up somewhere in this video <laughs> the blind was 27 like and it was a 27 that was like how do i say this a not copper but like a orange it was like an orange 27 like an orange color so the fact that i was able to tone the blonde i'm happy with i'm happy with being able to tone the blind and i used two different weller toners and i use the weaving method so if you've been a cosmetology if you've been doing hair a long time you know what the weaving method is so i parted throughout the whole head took sections and did the weaving method. And I would do one color on the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, and one color on the top. And then next to it, I would flip it. So that's how I got the different dimensions and highlights throughout the hair, which I'm very pleased with. And yeah, I don't know if y'all can really tell the different colors, but, or the two different tones in the blonde, but that's what I did for the coloring. Now, the last pro that I'm going to say about this wig is the size. The sizing of the wig um, in that it was pre-plucked. It being pre-plucked, I didn't have to pluck a lot. Um, and it wasn't a lot of shedding after I bleached it twice either. So that was another pro. But the size of this wig, like I said, you guys, I didn't put an elastic band in this wig. And it fits like almost perfectly. So I'm very pleased with the size of this wig. And... That's pretty much it for my pros and cons. So um, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Um, please click the um, bell button if you want notifications on whenever I post a video. And if you have any questions or comments, concerns, please put in the comment box, comments down below. If you didn't like this video, please let me know why you didn't like this video. If you have any advice, tips, tricks, let me know. If you want me to do a video on toning and coloring, let me know. I can do a video on that. And I'll leave all the, de all the details on the wig in the description box below. So y'all stay tuned for the next video. I'm out.